We're Mike and Gail Tucker, and we're mad about marriage. Mm -hmm. Do you ever have trouble talking about the difficult issues in your marriage? Hmm. Seems like most people do. Sometimes it feels like there's this chasm between you, and you just can't close it, and it's very difficult to talk. Psychologists Stephen Stosny and Patricia Love suggest that the real problem may have more to do with connection than communication. They say you need to be connected before you communicate. So our focus has to be on connecting to one another, right. maybe with touch. Touch is one good way to do this. A sensual touch, sexual touch. Holding uh, hands. Holding hands. How about just time? Taking time to be with each other, to have fun, to communicate. Even just having dinner together every night. Mm -hmm. That could be a wonderful time. Changing your attitude towards your spouse. Maybe it's a good idea to make a list of the positive traits, the positive characteristics that have drawn you to each other, and take mm -hmm. just 10 seconds a day to focus on one of those positive traits. That begins to change your thinking about your spouse. Your words can be a huge connecting point. The mm. way you speak to each other, to talk with respect, um, to find ways to compliment and to, to uplift the other person well, in the way you talk. Gentle tone of voice is key to that as well. That's huge. That's a, a major part of our words. How about romance? Mm. How about candlelit dinners and rehearsing those exciting moments together where the love builds and it grows? You remember why you're together in the first place. So connection can be a huge step toward feeling like you can talk about things. That's right. So if you're having difficulties talking, try connecting first, and then see how you can solve problems and communicate about difficult issues.